Kevin here from Hopefully Diagnostics. Uh, today we're going to go through how to use the JAL test software uh, to troubleshoot uh, vehicles that you might not be able to find, light, medium duty vehicles that, that you might not be able to find um, in the vehicle list on the, on the software. Uh, there are a few times where we come across um, a, a truck or, or a car or a van somewhere in our fleet um, and uh, we aren't able to connect using the auto connection function. So I'm going to go through and show you how to use the generic OBD2 uh, connection type in order to get in and read fault codes and potentially you may find also some bi-directional commands available as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the software um, so typically you know if you're hooked up to a light medium duty vehicle uh, you would go through and hit light medium duty uh, there are some makes and models that maybe don't show up in there so uh, if you are connected to a light or medium duty vehicle and and the scan function does not work what we can do is go through and use a, a generic OBD2 connection, okay? So if uh, the auto scan doesn't work, you're gonna head over to the manual uh, connection option here, and then you're gonna go down to light medium duty vehicles, okay? So from this point, you can go through and actually look at what makes and models are available for light medium duty. Um, but in this case, we already know that we can't detect that, uh, that specific vehicle uh, automatically with the jaw test uh, scan feature. So we're just gonna go up to other connection options and we're gonna click OBD standard. Okay, this is gonna give you the option uh, we're looking at here in North America. Typically, we're gonna be looking for an OBD2 um, uh, protocol. So you're gonna click on OBD2 standard protocol. You're gonna have that JAL test device uh, set up, you know, depending on what type of connector it is. Um, so we'll use that OBD2 uh, 16 pin connector. Go ahead and hit connect. And in, in this case, in the simulator here, uh, it's coming up with two different engine types uh, or two different engine options. Um, Oftentimes you'll see engine and transmission uh, separate. Uh, you might also see ABS or, or some other system in here as well. So if we're going after engine codes, I'm gonna click on that, that engine control module, uh, click that check mark there, and then it's gonna go through and, and open up our diagnostic menu. Just like you would see if you're connected to a heavy duty vehicle, we've got fault codes here, so we can go in and actually look at individual fault codes. Um, and it, it should it should give us uh, you know a, that generic OBD fault code. So again, this is a simulator. Oftentimes we'll see those P codes that, that are um, associated with OBD2, um, OBD2 fault systems. Um, so we have that option and then every now and then we'll also get you know, options for diagnostic tests, uh, bi-directional commands, uh, you know, in some cases, resets, calibrations, that kinds of thing. You, you can see in the simulator here, we give you some examples. Um, you may even be able to perform, uh, you know, a, a regen or, or something like that, depending on, on what the vehicle is, obviously. Um, so this is uh, just another option. Again, just because we don't have the support uh, specifically for a certain make or model, doesn't mean that we can't potentially um, connect using OBD. We have very good support on the, you know, Ford Transit vans. Often um, we have to use this OBD2 protocol for now on the uh, on on the product from Dodge that is not uh, built into the JAL test system yet. Um, usually a light duty like the three liter diesel, um, but but that stuff is coming down the pipe. Uh, these uh, these uh, additional models are, are constantly being added to the software. So we're going to get to a point where, um, you know, that's that auto scan feature is going to work for these lighter duty uh, vehicles as we go along here. Uh, but for now, if you can't connect to, say, a, a specific version of a Ram 2500, uh, go through and use that uh, OBD2 standard protocol in order to get your connection uh, to happen. So uh, definitely uh, a lifesaver. Um, in, in certain um, situations uh, when you're using the JAL test software, uh, being able to use that OBD2 standard feature. So uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions or, or comments, leave the comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here. And if there's anything that uh, you'd like to see in relation to um, after treatment systems or JAL test diagnostics, that kind of thing, uh, definitely leave a, a comment in there and, and we'll try to uh, get a video made up specifically for that aspect. Um, um, of the uh, the software or or the diagnostic.